I'm Big Will Levinson here live at Stoker Stadium where high school football has returned. Pueblo West has made the seven hour drive over to Grand Junction to take on the Grand Junction High School Tigers. And well, they did so for good reason because they have broken this one open here in the second quarter up 25 to nothing on the Tigers. And well, this is how it's happened. It's been about the special teams issues for Grand Junction, specifically the special teams mistakes for Grand Junctions. They, they have they, I mean, turned the ball over about two or three times on special teams. We had a pair of poor snaps from the long snapper to the punter, which, which gave Pueblo West great fuel position on two separate occasions on their third touchdown. They started right here at the 10 yard line and then were forced into a pair of fourth downs and converted them both, including the second for a touchdown right in front of us. And that made it 18 nothing. And then following the, on the ensuing kickoff, Grand Junction fumbled that kickoff, giving Pueblo West again great field position right here, and they wasted little time as now Will Applegate, or rather we've got a quarterback change, it seems, for Grand Junction, so we'll get that for you later coming up at 9 and again at 10. But again, score 25 to nothing, and for Grand Junction, got, you got to limit the turnovers. you got to limit the mistakes on special teams because that has been the difference in this one. Meanwhile, for this Pueblo West team, I mean, they, when they have had their opportunities, they have taken advantage, and their quarterback has been racking up the stats, got himself now two rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns as the Cyclones have scored three total touchdowns in this one. They obviously, they lost three points and extra points because they missed an extra point, did not get two uh, two two-point conversions, but they did convert an extra point on their last touchdown to make our score 25 to nothing. As Grand Junction, I mean, they really haven't had the ball a lot. In their first drive, they were able to move the ball a little bit, got some yards, but were forced to punt. And their second drive, they got a three and out. So here is their third drive of the game. And they're already down 25 to nothing. It's been because of the special teams. And the key here is going to be I mean, you, you got to be able to throw the football. I mean, the, the running game has not really been working. The offensive line has not been giving Will Applegate enough time either. So it's been a struggle thus far, but we're still here in the second quarter, still plenty of time in this one. And you got to be able to establish the run while you can because soon you won't be able to because you're going to be chasing the clock. So now down 25 to nothing here in the second quarter. Grand Junction. Yeah, they're, they're, they're driving right here at the 30 yard line, and it's going to be, again, it's going to be about, about protecting the football, not making any mistakes turnover wise and establishing that run. And, and Will Applegate, can you say enough about the kid? I mean, he I mean, he came out here as starting quarterback, second year as a starter, bulldozed a defender early on the first drive, and he plays every snap defensively as well at linebacker. And he also made a great tackle right in front of us, getting the running back down. And it's just a great power as well. His size is going to be key for this team to run through. And they're, they're going to need it, the, the, this Grand Junction Tigers team here in the second half. And look, Coach, I, I'm available if you want to put me in. I'll, I'll suit up, and I, and I can come in as well if you need me. But here in this game, we got 2.20 to go in this second quarter, down 25 to nothing to see if Grand Junction to come back. Join us at 9 p.m. and again at 10 on KREX 5. Here from Stoker Stadium, I'm Big Will Levinson.